All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel or the Patreon, wherever you're currently watching from. And today I am so excited because I'll be doing my first listen slash full on album review to none other than VVs and their fourth mini album titled Versus. Now, straight off the chain, I've got to admit, I am obsessed, literally obsessed with this new era by VVs and this overall comeback with maniac from the concept to the overall soundscape don't even get me started with the overall soundscape mad catchy sing-alongable lyrics and rhythm and movement to the song and i've been keeping the song on repeat during the weekdays into the weekend here and even uh, quite admittedly i even tried ordering the album unfortunately i missed out on pre-order so i'm gonna see if k-town for you uh restocks it so i can get it later on in the christmas season per se but hey staying on track here i'm seeing familiar names for these b-sides that's great we'll have to talk upon some of them and then i'll make sure to familiarize with the rest of the people and collectives taking part on this fourth mini album but hey four brand new b-sides we more than love to see it but now it's time to hear it here during the first listen so hey without further ado let's just dive into this album review now all right so the very first track we have here is untie i'm seeing familiar names right away the first individual elisa from 153 Joombas, a collective that I really admire, not gonna lie. But for Elisa, she has taken upon like many good songs already as of recently. Drama by Espa, and in the past before, Welcome to My World, where Espa showcased more of a melodic side to themselves that I absolutely adored. Has worked with VVs in the past before, both title track and b-side wise if i recall correctly love or die that particular b-side and pull up that i enjoyed a lot and then in terms of composition side composing okay we got elsa karan elsa karan has worked with good amount of my favorite artists already we're talking about n hyphen and their amazing b-side jacone highly recommend that song as well as sweet juice by purple kiss like come on bb girls one more time as well like a lot of good songs that these individuals has taken part of for the other individuals i'm gonna have to familiarize myself with them after this ryan jun we don't speak much about him around these parks because i have my good reasons if you guys didn't know uh what he has done in the past before that cannot be excused where he doubled down and all be sure to do your research and educate yourselves, and I think it is very important to do so. But hey, I'm gonna bring it up here right away. Untie by VVs. Let's go. Actually, the volume's good. Oh my goodness. Right away. Very droning intro here. Wait. Whoa. What? Should be? Oh, I love how it doesn't take time to kick off in this song, just with the mood and everything. Wait a second, is this the first verse here now? Okay, OG! My life, a deeply trapped frame. Okay. Whoa! This pre-chorus though, it's really building up a lot of anticipation. And it's exciting me. That's cool, that's dope. And just listen to the airy vocal delivery. I love it. Looks so gorgeous. Story victorious. Mm. Look at me. <laughs> I love the that moment there by Shindy. Real me, okay. Guess hearing what I'm hearing right now. 
just the vocal moments and how they're carrying themselves in this song is everything. Want to get some likes. Mm. So this is talking about really the dark side about SNS, social media. I'll talk about that more after. work here and just how it elevates okay that is cool I love how this really touches upon self-expression and like one's identity which funny enough I've been talking a lot about like theme wise and like message wise across as of recently b-sides and title tracks from my album reviews to title tracks but this really takes a different darker not necessarily sinister approach but quite the dark approach i've got to admit but that's equivalent to how social media can really rotten our brains and our lifestyle you feel me this really encapsulates not only the addiction of social media but more specifically how hey like Every, anyone can set up a profile and be so deceptive like is it true is it fake is it a lie that's what i'm getting here with the lyrics and it's talking about the likes and all like it's there's more beneath the eye there's more beneath the post that you see you know and i feel like at the same time what i'm getting here direction wise as it progresses and progresses it really speaks upon wanting you know proper genuine connections like how often you're gonna get that like in comparably in person and like online you feel me when you're connected to the internet and all like it's hard to get that kind of authentic authenticity per se so it's like elisa really took the extra mile with this one like if her intentions of you know making untie like really reveal this kind of message i'm sure she ended up you know try to you know convey that good on her like she and this really suits this kind of stylistic approach really suits vv's like a glove like perfectly so perfectly like a luxurious glove i've got to admit i would go as far as that like from maniac to untie this this album is unreal so far, right? I would love to see them promote this song as uh, well so bad. I think on my timeline, there is a teaser that they're going to drop a performance video. So at least we get that, the very least. We get some unha rap as well. Like There are a lot of twists and turns that you cannot predict right from even the start like notice how we get that intro it's very droning like i said it's done in this hypnotic kind of manner and that's the intention stylistically wise to match the message and theme that's being portrayed in this song think about it right like what you see on the internet what you see on twitter what you see on facebook all that stuff it could be all an illusion, right? And it, it just, you get that sort of illusion type of feeling. So that's what I'm trying to say here. This dark illusion feeling, it's a whole vibe. It's a whole vibe. But let me bring it up here right away. Point out how important the arrangement plays out in this song. Because believe it or not, it doesn't take time for us to hit the chorus in this song. So I'm going to bring it up here right away, everyone. And we're going to go through it again. 
So very droning, right? Very hypnotizing, la la la. Nice groove being set with Shinbi. Style where you go, what you do all your life. Is it fake or real, that smile? Want to get some likes? Some people these days, wow, especially with the younger generation and how things are going, they really, really are, you know, <laughs> uh, wanting to do anything for likes at the end of the day. So, wow, that connection here with this line here, powerful. <laughs> Very blurry, right? Wrong or right. It's this or that. You can't really tell. Now I'm kind of freaking. Oh my goodness, Anha. She didn't have to snatch us like this. Like, come on. Quick swipe, yeah. This flow by Umji. I love it. I love this kind of approach by her. But yeah, pretty much from the, the intro that I was talking about. We get into the chorus pretty much already. And then after verse one, we get into this really cool pre chorus that, you know, almost in a way like connects so well closely how it's done in the bridge of this song but the bridge is even more elevated it takes even extra steps and levels that it takes with the synthesizer work and all but like notice this moment here like mirage see what i'm saying like like a, an illusion like a mirage that's what they're saying here like and i feel like with this specific point here of course there can be lost in translation maybe fame is all not so wrapped up what it's supposed to be maybe fame and like is does it really equip like equate with like success and all like all this you know getting all this like do i really like what's going on and having to really put on an act per se right i'm not saying specifically you know in the case of like this the k-pop scene right now but like in general with like content creation and all it's really really rare and hard to find genuine connection and relatability and authenticity that I was saying earlier, but this mainly talks about like going for all of this. Like, is it really worth the payout? Like, really? Like, wow, that's powerful. The more and more I think about it and talk about it. the middies and all love it but the overall groove a core part part in this song just how the the bass line hits in this song is so addictive just the whispering airy delivery i love it just the direction of it the vocal direction and arrangement Curious, gorgeous, victorious. Love the rhyme scheme here. Real me. Emphasis on real me. It can be addiction. It can be a tempt some temptation in the mix. Oh my goodness, Ellie so with the lyrics like. Props to her, shout outs to her, oh my goodness. Not only the people who took part on the composing side and arrangement to this song, I love the lyrics. Like the lyrics really elevate the song and like is so cohesive in terms of how everything's being done. So this was a really well thought out, out song I've got to admit. So let me progress and progress here. Okay, here we go. Notice how the tuz, the ta, 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 you know, this sort of staccato pattern is done with this singular hi-hat. The timing 
is so on point here, which is really cool, I've got to admit. Oh, that is dope. bit of that riser synthesizer work kick drum snare work going more hard in the paint here a picture on a fantasy i don't like it anymore delete it like you're looking at it set me free set me free hey at the end of the day i just want to be me i want to be my true self i don't want to be just some profile i don't want to be someone that is like oh everyone like you know adores me and wants to be quote unquote exactly me you feel me like exactly like i feel like there's too much like misconceptions and all that stuff along the lines of uh that but you know like just how <laughs> i don't know you guys get what i'm saying here i'm starting to uh, like feel like a broken record here but i like what they're getting at here but there's a lot of that in the lyrics here an expression of yearning for just you know self-identity and breaking upon like social media barriers and going against the grain and societal norm pretty much Ta -da, ta -da. Oh yeah, that snare work during the ta -da, ta -da. Untied. Yo, the choreo has to go so hard in the paint along that song. Keep in mind, I'm filming this like a day before. The performance video for Untie, everyone. What a first track to kickstart this album. But let's just dive into the next B-side now. So this next B-side is titled Overflow. And probably at this moment here, as I'm seeing the credits, my most anticipated B-side, not gonna lie, because I'm seeing SZA and Buy More. And for those who are familiar, with the channel, you're pretty familiar with them by now. SZA has worked quite heavily with one of my top favorite girl groups out there, From Us Nine, the likes of their song Rewind. We're talking about Attitude coming off of the latest era. Has also worked on Sensitive by Lucemble. And then Buy More as, as well has worked with From Us Nine's Attitude. Of course, If We Do by Kim Sejong herself, one of my favorite top soloists out there in the scene. As of recently, I've covered a Kiss of Life, their song TTG. So if you enjoyed Overflow here as much as I probably will end up doing so, you're probably going to end up enjoying TTG Day by Day by Lucemble. So this is stacked, stacked for real. Like there are times where when I see the credits, I already know I'm going to love the song automatically not only due to the artists and the individuals and the members and all but as well as the people who i'm more so familiar of stylistically in terms of their production and how they like to put out their music for the groups that they work with and soloists so i'm gonna bring it up here right away and let go oh i love the Really, the kind of pathway that this is taking so far. Oh. Clock is four o'clock. Bit of distortion going on in the bass work, which I love. Mm. I wait for you who won't. That was cool. Just the direction and movement with it. How it shouldn't be ran with it. Oh my goodness. 
The plucks in the back, the string plucks, I love it. Wait. <laughs> Is VB's in their R&B era now? Oh, what a transition into verse 2 here. I just suffer my dreams. All that snare drum work and just how MG really builds it up like a roller coaster of emotions and then everything overflows in the chorus. With taking up the hi hats. Smooth vocal works really does it for me as well. Wait, this song deserves a performance too. <laughs> but just the vocal performance that they're bringing to the table here is everything. Ooh, the sweeping of the strings. Keyboard work. Oh, the string plucks again. How do you do that? How do you do that? Okay, we are... Not even finished with this mini album, and not only title track wise, but like just in general, I think I am in love with this era to the point where I feel like VV's has topped themselves. I don't say like a, a comment like that until the very ends of an album review, but like I gotta say it already, you know, this RB approach by VV's is everything, and I hope they deliver like RB ever so often within each and every era from now on from now on they need to do it like it really works with their voices and how they work off each other i've got to admit it's so chill yet there is this almost thriller feeling that we get in this song Notice Unha's like laugh transitioning into verse two. It's a little bit sinister, and I feel like it really connects with those protrusive or what's the word? You know, the those inner thoughts that really haunt you and that you're trying to fight. Of like, you know, I'm trying to get out of this like rut type of a feeling and with this kind of mindset because. Pretty much the TLDR about uh, this, it seems like, you know, it really talks about love, the topic of love specifically, whether that be unrequited or love in general. It talks about the passion of love and more specifically, the overflowing and levels of affection that occur, but also the struggle to really move on. So we get that struggle moment during verse 2, but then we start to move on after verse 2, which is really cool. And what is that technique uh, called? Um, um, sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, I felt like we got some jazzy moments as uh, well, like... There's this uh, kind of vocal technique uh, called uh, improvising and um, coming through with words that don't really mean anything, but it really is a lot about pretty much improvising and using your voice like an instrument almost. So like 
that sort of improvised like scat singing that we got in the moment uh, there. I'm going to have to point it out when it goes through because I felt like that was really clever and creative with it. You don't get much scat in in K-pop, I've got to admit. But then again, like I love how refreshing so far VV's music has been like from the previous era to this era. It just seems like you know, they're really showcasing a lot of different sides to themselves, right? It's not like they haven't done that before within G-Friend, but, like, as VVs, like, they're doing something special, you know, within this year of 2023, and I'm sure they're going to extend that into the new year. Okay, so there's a lot of key points that I really want to touch upon here. Drum kit work. Mm. Like a child all day long, I wait for you who won't. This is where I initially get the, that, that sense of topic being put out here and all and conveyed. <laughs> Man, just the distortion of the bass ever so slightly is... It really keeps you interested. This, it's a lie. Machi, love pain. It is crazy. Just the cleverness and how it's done. That's cool. The dips that occur within just the overall vocal projection and delivery is so cool here. I think the TLDR is the pre-chorus slaps. <laughs> it's fire. And then we get this cool string pluck movement during the chorus. I'm just suffering. See what I'm saying here? <laughs> the str it talks about the struggle, the after effects of, you know, trying to move on. When things haven't worked out. Q. Yeah. Whether it's day or early in the morning, run on and after minage. Uh, after image that rumbles all the time. Okay, there could be lost in translation there. Last night I had to suffer my dream. See what I'm saying here? The struggle, the suffering, you know, the difficulty to move on. Like, oh! The rudimental snare drum work. Love it. Oh my goodness. And then as we progress and progress. Okay, I'm going to try to focus here. Like beyond the vocal work. That vocal improvising technique. And that scat work. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? <laughs> oh, just composing true art in my ears, in my mind. <laughs> We're not in a relationship anymore. Very distant vocal filtering coming into play. But yeah, like, that's what I'm getting here, y'all.
the details, the details, and that's what I always get from the likes of SZA and Buy More, everyone. SZA and Buy More has done it again. Like I said, if you enjoyed this, you're probably going to enjoy many of their other works, whether it's as of recently by Kiss of Life, whether it's been by the likes of Lucemble, whether it's been the likes of Kim Sejong, whether it's been the like, likes of From Us 9, you name it. And they have even worked with one of my favorite boy bands out there, Lucy. So there you have it. One of my top favorite B-sides coming off of this album. But let's just continue this roller coaster, shall we? So this next B-side is titled Day by Day. I'm seeing huge familiar names here. We got the likes of Jung Hedy. Jung Hedy has taken part on a good amount of my favorite songs out there, where that be Beatbox by NCT Dream, that fun song and poppy with it and all. Has also worked on Freedom by Girls' Generation. Remember that amazing era with that full album? Oh, I still remember those uh, times. We also have Ashley Alicia, very familiar uh, name if you guys remember. VVs and Kepler was on the same uh, show, so she was taking part on like the arrangement towards that uh, song called Purr. That was a great time, of course. And then Ashley Alicia has worked with a good amount of my favorites. We're talking about like the likes of Luna and has also has her own works with the, the likes of Depth. I've been diving into a good amount of his works as of recently. Same goes for Ashley Alicia, so feel free to check out their Spotify's and all. Andreas Oberg. Andreas Oberg has worked with a good amount of SM artists already, whether that be EXO or EXO's uh, D.O. The list truly goes on, has worked with uh, Girls' Generation as uh, well. So all around, huge familiar names. I'm not going to be surprised if I'm going to end up loving this song as well. So let's just dive into Day by Day now. Oh, it's a very taking a different approach from the other tracks. Oh my goodness, this is so up my alley in terms of taste. It's very chill. Love that piano work. Ooh. Mm. So sweet. From the lyrics to how they're carrying out this song. This moment becomes precious. Whoa, Shinbi. Yo. <sighs> Trickling on the piano. That snare drum work. Bass guitar. Ooh. Yeah. Unha's like vocals in this is just pure bliss, am I right? Mm. And I love the string work going on in this song. This sort of like dialogue of a moment. Mm. 
Wow. She did not just do that. Not once, twice, three times, five times. I've lost count at this point. Not only taking a stylistic approach that I am such a sucker for, but going the extra mile with it. Like the vocal moments that we get, the riff work, the high note that we get. Like, come on, everyone. Un ha. You gotta give it to her. And like, even the likes of the ad lib work goes crazy in this song. Umji. Very sweet voice in this song, so it obviously uh, suits her a lot. But, like, you know, from Unha's, like, riff work and just, like, hitting that high note and starting off with, like, a, a, a falsetto, if I recall correctly. Yo. As some may know, I'm such a sucker for vocals and, um... Maybe Unha really solidifies that bias record position for me because as some may know, MG do be the bias, right? But, you know, you got the likes of Shinbi as well coming into play. So, yeah, I honestly, there's nothing too, like, extraordinary, which is completely fine. It's straight to the point. There's no, like, crazy, super-duper meaningful message like we got from the previous tracks, but that's completely fine. I'm pretty sure you guys got what they were putting down here as a whole but i'm gonna try to really you know figure out more so of what's going on instrumentation wise in the song and point out my favorite lines and moments that occurred in the song because i really liked the post chorus into the bridge that was just like a brilliant a brilliant moment that was really thought well thought out i've got to say <laughs> string work being looped there so what's really cool after that string work notice the timing it occurs around the pretty much the same time um where like the piano comes in or the keyboard work comes in at the same time like the strings did at the beginning notice it Like, you really anticipate for the strings to come in again, but it really kicks off with MG and the piano chords. Then some keys being played. Wow, like, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, everything that I'm hearing from the previous tracks leading into this... How are they gonna top themselves? I shouldn't worry about that, like, at all, but, like, come on. You can't tell me this is not good. Some string plucks coming into play, obviously. I mean, ain't that true? Take it day by day, I'll finally reach you tomorrow, like... There's times where you just got, let's just take this day by day together, you know what I'm saying? But these lyrics, very sweet, very fitting, with the lovely vocals. Verse 2. Oh, these chords, just the chord progression, I love it. See, Shinbi gets her vocal moments in verse 2. Oh, the follow-up to Unha is crazy, though, here. Yeah, the over, emphasis on over. Yeah, the roll out of the piano. And then, as we move forward and forward here...
so in that moment before we get into this this sort of dialogue type of uh, moment and narration notice the great like percussion work we get likes of the tambourine of some sort just with a rattling very constant very persistent it's right there in the back so sweet very consoling lines here always find a way trust me okay Anna <laughs> the Haji Ma yo Wow. <laughs> now, if I had to pick really one member that really shined in this song, Anna, without a doubt. Wow, she had crazy moments. But yeah, like, you know this song really does it for me i don't even know how i'm gonna pick a favorite or even like you know a top two at the end of this album review and at the end of the day because like wow day by a uh, day it can be another song that i would love to see them perform you know whether it be with lovely choreo or quite stationary with like you know stools or all our chairs you feel me with the, the the or the stand up mic setup and all that would be really a cool and even imagine a live band setup for this song would be amazing but let's just dive into the next b-side now so last but not least we have the final b-side here titled up to me unfortunately it is the final b-side but i'm sure they're gonna wrap this up so perfectly i'm seeing one huge familiar name though it's Danke or dank from la 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 studio they have taken part on the likes of Anti-Fragile by La Seraphim. Of course, Eve Zaki and the Bluebeard's wife has worked with BTS in the past before, TXT, Kepler, Twice, NCT, you name it. But I'm going to bring it up here right away, everyone, and let go. Oh, I'm already loving the vibes of this one. Nice rhythm guitar. Ooh. Whole new page, okay. Opening the window. Oh, Anha. Love the claps here, the 808 claps. Very prominently used here with the hi hats. I love that that hey vocal sampling that they did earlier too. Yeah, it happened again. It's all up to me. Oh, this post chorus though. Quite earwormy with it, I've got to admit. Create my own life. Okay. Sunrise Moonlight. Is that a nice reference there? Oh my goodness. The song is so rich in sound, yet... Man, I'm loving the vocal layering within this particular one. Yet, how bright it is. Very bright, cute, and sweet. But I love the lyrics playing out in this. Pretty much about... Oh, bridge. 
Oh, Shinbi. There's the class again. Oh. So yeah, what I was saying, pretty much about controlling one's destiny. Yet. You know, taking your life in your own hands and comfortable kind of manner you feel me as long as you're comfortable with it in what you are currently doing or going for so it's about really taking the wheel and taking control of your own vehicle in your own destiny and all and i've got to admit it's quite the surprising motivational uh track at the same time you could put it like that i could i would love to see it like um that i would say i'd put it like that but up to me, not only straight to the point and meaningful with it, I say it's a great wrap up uh, song. It's a nice, I wouldn't necessarily say celebratory, but more so of an anthem for like, this is for all of us. Like, we, we do just, we gotta just do our own thing and make our own way in life and just take control of your own destiny because no one else is gonna do it. But like, as you do it by yourself and go on your own ways. Of course, of course, what's important is about being comfortable with what you're doing and or what you're going for. I, the one lyrical line that I really loved is the sunrise moonlight line. That has to be a huge reference, of course, upon those two specific eras. You know, time for the moon, uh, light, sunrise, of uh, course. But aside from that, you know, I thought... All the members got to shine in this particular uh, track, and it's a cute little wrap-up at the end of the mini-album. So let me bring it up here right away before I provide my concluding thoughts in this mini-album, everyone. So let me do that. Oh, I just love some of the retro influences that come into play in this song. And that rhythm guitar. Mm. Always believe in me. Turn over the whole new page. So these are moments right here. This is what I mean by straight to the point. They they don't, you know, take the time and beat around the bush. They're straight to the point of you know turning a new page, right? And ooh, I love it. Just this new page line. I love it. Oh, and yes, and the claps. How they come in here. It's only begun. It's not the end. Oh, that oops, that was so cute. So like the ad lib work makes it quite sweet and cute with it at some times in little pockets and moments. It's up all to me, yeah. Na na na. I think post chorus, aside from the chorus, post chorus I absolutely love. Definitely one of my favorite moments in the song. Because it has a sing alongable factor to it. It makes it extra memorable, the song. Just as a whole. Mm. Sunrise, moonlight, that kind of delivery and reference, amazing. So on point. I love it, everyone. Timing. Oh, 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 oh. It's by MG, right? Oh my goodness. So beautiful with it. And then as we progress and progress. The haze, yeah, the vocal samplings I was talking about. Bridge. 
And in my humblest opinion, I feel like Shinbi sets it up so perfectly during the bridge here. Tomorrow will shine a little more. <laughs> the feel good feel good line is so impactful like it's very memorable na na same same with the post chorus though oh, na 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 right amount of syllables right kind of execution no need to get me started with the punchy Drum kit work. Woo! VVs, they have done it again with this mini album. And I gotta say, in my type of personal, uh, I'd say personal taste, and of course, considering Maniac being the title track, I think they hit it on all right notes, showcase so many different sides to themselves, whether it be in Untie, the more runaway vogue s type of song yet it ended up being super duper meaningful and then like overflow truly taken that like rmb route like if anything i want to hear more rmb based tracks that take it the extra full length with vvs in the future hopefully they continue to do it and they receive this type of good feedback in terms of having rmb tracks in the future you feel me and then we had day by day straight to the point with the message in it i appreciate how that song played out as well as up to me here to wrap up the album but really hard to pick any um you know favorites amongst all of these in fact majority of these can be very title track uh worthy whether that be untie overflow or up to me of course up to me more so the timing of when i would uh, say more into the late summer of course but by no means it's not only restricted to the season of summer to listen to you could listen to it during the season of summer and beyond it's just that uh good so there's not necessarily that catered towards summer you know a type of track uh there it's just very bright meaningful and all about taking one's you know destiny in your own hands and all but i think maniac still up there absolutely love it so so much i think overflow over time it might top untie but i'm gonna have to hold on to untie here and then go overflow it's honestly very neck and neck and probably in a tie right uh there in terms of my top favorite b-sides at least top two it's those ones and then I would say I would keep everything in the exact order day by day and then up to me. I think honestly you could listen to these songs any time of the day, any time of the season and it just goes to really show you how well thought out this album was both lyrically, production wise and in consideration of what VVs has to offer and when they come to the table or like you know the studio and come through with their amazing vocals and talents right so let me know your thoughts let me know your favorite b-sides did you feel the same way that i did throughout this album review were you able to relate on some sentiments and notes or did you find out something new uh during my listen after your own listen and all because i love uh, you know connecting with you guys in the comment section down below at the end of the day but as always be sure to like and subscribe as it goes a long way and it helps out the channel so so much stay tuned for more vv's content i'm probably going to check out the performance for untie and then of course backtrack upon the previous eras for vv's specifically their mini albums of course but as always this has been garrison and peace